Amazing Beer Drinking Man, and today we're going to be doing Allagash Double. And this is from Portland, Maine, Allagash, and Double is a traditional um, Belgian style ale. It's a dark ale, an amber ale, and it goes back to one of the brew one of the Trappist monks. I don't say Trappist, but one of the monks, one of the monasteries started brewing in about 1850. And it's become a very prevalent style. I'm pretty excited about this. It's the first double I've done. It's actually the first double I've ever drank. And when I was growing up, you couldn't get, get anything that was even remotely similar to a Belgian-type beer. They were legendary. I mean, you had to search them out. You had to go to Europe to get them. So we're pretty excited about this. Uh, Allagash does specialize in Belgian-style beers. They figured everybody else was doing British and German ale, so they decided to go ahead with this. And they call this a dark amber Belgian style ale. It's hand brewed with seven different malts and a special sugar in our Belgian yeast. So, Allagash Double. These tend to be fairly dark beers, and the overall style should be malty with a slight bitterness. We'll see what we have. Again, if you like these reviews, please comment. Please go ahead and subscribe to our reviews. We would love to have you as a friend. Looks like it's brewing true to color. Fair amount of carbonation, looks like. Decent head. I would say almost a dark ruby. A lot of carbonation. I know we can't see it here, but a lot of carbonation going on there. Let's see what we got for flavors here. We've got some malt. Getting a little phenolics in it. A little bit of citrus, which I don't expect. Must be maybe a little fruit flavor from the yeast. We'll go ahead and give it a taste and see what we come up with here. Decent mouthfeel. Actually, a nice, a nice hearty or full. I mean, in the mouth, you get a, a nice, uh, warm, full flavor. Do get a little bit of the alcohol. It's not overpowering. It's just a hint at the back of the palate. Uh, so the alcohol is well controlled. It is 7% ABV. Definitely get malt. Uh, you get malt right up front, which you should, like I said, that's true to the style. You would expect the malt flavor. That's what you're looking for. Just a hint. Just a hint of the hop bitterness up front. Not sure what type of hops they're using here, but they're not very, it's not, definitely not an overhop brew. It, it is a, it is a real ale. Oh, maybe a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of raisin. Like I said, you do get a little bit of sweetness from this. This is a wonderfully complex beer. This is not your average rip and roar beer. This is a good, this is a beer that this is a sipping beer. You want to enjoy this beer. It's not a beer that you want after you've been working out on a lawn on a hot day and you just want to guzzle it down and be refreshed. This is more after a long day of work. You want to sit down, you got a little TV on, and you want to contemplate your beer. This is a, definitely a delicious beer. I like this beer a lot. It's not something you would drink every day. It's, this is the time of the year. Fall is a great time of the year for it. I would give this beer a solid, solid four caps, and I was really thinking five, but I'd give it a solid four cap. This is a beer, you had a party, you start with this one, you try some of the other ones, and you say, before I go home, I want one more beer, and this is the one that you go back for. This is a very tasty beer.